Hey friends, this is Anil and in this uh, tutorial part 3 of CRUD operation, we will learn how we can edit and update the skill and how we can delete the skill. Okay, so in my previous video part 1, I told you how we can bind this data in the grid view and in the part 2, I told you how we can add the skill. Just click on add button and here we can add the skill. Okay. So in this part, in this part three, I will let you know. Suppose if I click on this item, then here, if you want, I want just put 80 and just click on update button. The skill has been updated. You can see over here. Okay. So the same thing uh, I will achieve in this video. So pre previously uh, we are working on the same solution. Here you can see. So in the same solution, I will. Uh, add and update uh, these all other things so just go in the back end and in the back end we have uh, already put it the code for add skills okay and now let me create the event for edit and update okay so here you can see uh, we have added image and we have a remove image so in the edit and remove image i will put a few lines of code so what that code will do first uh, i'll just make a tabbed button over there tabbed event so here i'll create a tab so what this tab will do this is kind of event handler remove skill dot tab once you will click on this tab button like this tab button automatic this event handler will call okay so this is for remove and this one for edit so we have created two uh, event handler added and removed okay now let me create uh, the edit and uh, remove one event handler so first i'll just put the remove event handler over here so in the remove event handler what i have did i will just get the sender as image and uh, uh button uh, dot binding context as user skills so from here i will just remove what is the evm i already told you evm is the object of my binding context here you can see this is my skill binding context means what is the skill can uh, binding context so this is the skill uh, binding context in this skill binding context i have only four items so uh, here you can see in the remove uh, section once user uh, will click on, on the remove button i will get a item the same item evm dot user is skill list dot remove this item i will remove and i will update my binding context so save this and uh, we can check also just remove this edit button functionality click on this button and check the functionality so here our application has been loaded now i will just hit the remove button so you can see item is deleting okay fine so this functionality is working now we will work on uh, added one so for added one i will again add this event handler over here and in the back end we have to just add a event handler over here so this is our remove one and here i will add a added one so in the added one what i am doing the same thing i am getting the uh, uh, item from here uh, from the sender i am getting the item and service entry dot is enable equals to false because i am going to update the item against service id so the service id i am going to disable over here and here you can see bind current selected service name so in the picker first i have to bind the selected item suppose uh, uh, if i have a selected item let's me open my application so suppose here if you have this software engineer seven years of experience and 800 date if i will click on this edit button then 
in the picker the software engineer in the picker should be populated means it should be selected and in experience drop down seven years should be populated means it should be selected and rate should be selected over here so the same thing we will achieve for uh, this is for service so what we are doing we are basically getting our all services and from all services here you can see the service id current service id uh, to on which we are uh, we want to update the item and here we are finding that item from the all service list and here you can see we are finding the index and the same index we are winding over here okay so the current select the current uh, selected service name will be uh, selected in a picker okay and here we are binding the selected experience okay so and here you can see we are binding the current uh, rate of the user means uh, item selected uh, rate of the user okay and here we can update is this dot is visible equals to true so for that what is that actually so we are opening the same pop-up means if we are if we are going to add the item or if we are going to update the item thus we are using the same pop-up so if I if I'm going to add the item then at that time I have to uh, uh, hide the update one and if I'm going to remove uh, uh, update the item then I have to hide the add one so here you can see this is the btn skill and both are both visible equals to false suppose i'm going to add if i'm going to update then i have to uh, uh, is visible equals to false means meet and update is visible equals to false if i'm going to add then obviously i have to uh, unhide this okay Written skill, written update skill is written update skill. This is the pop up. Okay, run this application. Okay, fine. We have forwarded this. Okay, now just click on this application and run this again. In we are getting error update okay so it's saying we didn't update skill click current correct signature not found so we have to put the we didn't update uh, event also okay so let's let me put the written update one also okay so i will put a btn update also over here so in the btn update is this what i'm doing again pop-up add is this view dot is visible is equals to false means we are going to uh, hide the pop-up and we are getting the current service id and we are getting the total experience so for after that what we are doing we are uh, going to just filter that service id and on which the same service id we are updating the item okay and after that we are binding the context let me run this application again so here if you want to see uh, if you want to see uh, how we are populating the data just put a debugger over here and hit first item okay the debugger has been come and see the result so here you can see we are getting the current item right and service entry dot is visible equals to false i told you already we want the this uh, service entry visible equals to false because on this service entry on the on the skill name we want to update the item so just hit this and check the index so what is the index index equals to zero 
right now but right item source equals to count equals to 7 and index equals to 0 and here what will be the index that index minus 1 so what we need to do actually this there is a problem uh, here you can see the software engineer on index 0 has been added but select experience is not uh, banded over here so for that what we need to do here in the experience drop down you can see we have banded same experience twice one two three and four and the same experience we have to bind in the model otherwise index will not be fine either you can two two one and four okay now let's run this application because we are finding the index from here index means we are finding the current selected item okay so if the item will not be matched in the drop down then obviously we will not get the correct data okay now check this application and now see i'm just hitting the second item okay i'm hitting the second item and see the result So here you can see the index should be 1, right? And this index should be 1. Cool. And user rate as per the 3000. Okay, just press the continue. And here you can see we are getting the data as expected in the drop down. Now I want to update this. You can see we are updating the HR. Okay, HR. Now I want to update HR as a 3600 and experience equals to 4 just hit the update button here you can see HR has been updated HR experience equals to 4 and rate equals to 3600 uh, fine so I already told you how we can add a skill okay here you can see we are getting the update button only so what we have to do for this for this we have to do few things over here in BTN add a skill in the btn add a skill what we have to do we have to hide the update button and i'll let you know not actually here btn skill pop-up click means once the pop-up will be clicked at that time we have to hide the add a update button here what we are doing it's a duplicate entry what we are doing and service entry should be enabled service entry should be enabled and pop-up add skill view is visible equals to true what is that mean means pop-up will be visible and btn add skill is visible equals to true means uh, uh, btn add button will be true and btn update button will be false so run this application again and see the output so here you can see the application is running it will take few seconds to get the data right so suppose if i want to update this item technical engineer so i want to experience as a 3 and this as a 50 click on update the item has been updated you can see the technical engineer if I want to add the skill again, then here I can add the skill. The skill has been added. Okay, technical engineer twice has been added. Now, if I want to remove this, I can easily remove. Okay, so I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.